Hey guys, it's Tracy from Needless Toys. I want to do a quick walkthrough of some of the items we picked up this week. Um, we had an opportunity to go do some picking on Monday and just wait till you see some of the stuff that we got. So let's just jump right into it. Down at the bottom, you see it. It's a Cobra Glider with a Viper Pilot. This thing is, I want to say near mint. I mean, I didn't see anything visibly wrong with it. The glider's not broken. Um, it's actually really nice extremely nice the viper pilot is extremely clean which is inside the box now I mean, it also has the instructions and it came and it also came with like a little sheet just saying hey don't throw this on concrete so we thought that was really cool we picked up some sealed mill away vehicles there's a fire bat slugger and a thing right in there all unassembled we got some figures highlight was the ninja viper with the swords all red backs so we grabbed a couple of those Let's go down to our wall. You see some cool stuff up on the counter. Here we go. You see what I'm starting to focus in on? We got a sealed Night Boomer. Granted, the tape is hanging on by a thread, but it's still sealed. So that means sealed contents. Look at that thing. That thing is absolutely stunning. I know a few people that probably would love to have this, but unfortunately, this is nothing that we will ship. Um, not, not going to happen on that one, guys. So I'm sorry. It's in store only. Um, right next to it, down at the bottom left, is a detonator. Same thing. This box is gorgeous. Uh, looks like it just came straight out of a case, which we have something special to show you in a few minutes. Um, right down next to it is a G.I. Joe Destro costume. I didn't know this thing existed until we actually picked it. Um, I was going to pass on it. Jason told me to buy it. When he, Jason tells me to buy something, there's a good reason. That thing is that thing is hard to find. Um, let me move this blimp here. There we go. You see a Dino Hunter set. Now this set is loose in the box. The accessories for the figures are in there on the trees. Have not been removed. The thing is complete. The box looks case fresh. Um, we'll have a sealed one in here in about a month. Which I know you guys will probably like to get a hold of that. Um, and we'll get to the other case in just a second. Real quick, we did pick up some vintage models. Um, Jason scored this. And I must say, and don't tell him, but I really dig these model kits. I just need some more more like the Phantom 2 MIG F4J, whatever you call it. I need more sizes like that so I can finish filling out my shelves. But these models are extremely cool. Vintage, World War II, some modern stuff in there. And, of course, we have like a... On the Cylon, Battlestar Galactica, Cylon Base Star. We have a Galactica. It's not here yet. Jason, um, he, he didn't bring it. He's something he's got to do with it. All these kits are unassembled. Some of these are still sealed. The ones that are not sealed, they've never been taken apart. They're still in the trees. Um, we have the shuttle Tidarium, and there's a Jabba, Jabba throne room behind that. So we are in the model business right now, and we got good prices on these kits. We'll have more, plenty more of that. Um, but yeah, I dig them a lot. Let's go to the second case. All right, so we have a Plastrama. I probably just butchered that. Um, G.I. Joe glider. Now this thing is actually sealed. Still has the cellophane on most of it, but it has not been opened. This thing is absolutely stunning. It looks like it came out of a case. Um, down below it, um, you can see the Toxo Lab on the bottom shelf. It's sealed, sealed content, sealed box. I mean, it's it's case fresh. Literally, it looks like he pulled it out of a case from Hasbro and put it in a box. Right next to it is an AH-74 Desert Apache. The box is rough, sealed contents. So, you know, these things are relatively fragile. Um, they don't quite fit in the G.I. Joe line, but, you know, collectors do love them just because it is part of the G.I. Joe um, vehicle line. And right behind it, you can't really see it, but we have a ghost, I can't think it's a ghost strike or a X-16 or whatever. It's the, um, one of the planes. Sealed box. Box looks as sharp as as it looks like it came right out of the factory. Um, another surprise that we picked up was a Mellowway Serpentor. Honestly, I didn't know they made that until we picked it. I was very surprised. Um, some of the non Joe's items that we got, which hopefully there will be more, so we got some Carter Turtles. These things are absolutely stunning as far as the condition of them. And you can see it right here. I mean, yes, the bubble's a little yellow, 
but just look at that shine on that car back. These things are gorgeous. Um, FYI, we already sold four. We're hoping to find more of the turtles when we go back again. Um, and we picked up a few other odds and ends throughout the store. Um, a lot of new retail shipments came in this week. We got new Gundams. Um, we got Mask Rider stuff in. Um, we got more Joy Toys coming in next week. Um, it's going to be mechs and uh, modern military units coming in too for the U.S. So we'll have that. Um, guys, really want you to see this Joy Toy stuff. I will make one promise to you that we are going to buy direct here in the next four or five months and we're going to get them at a cheaper price so we can pass that savings on to you just like what we have right here some wwe series 81 we got these through one of our distributors at a better price point than our normal distributor we're passing that savings on to you now it's only going to be the figures on the end cap the ones on the in the aisle actually came from another distributor <coughs> excuse me so these are the ones that we're really focused on selling um, but we got more figures coming in next week. Um, we got, I think it's series 84, 85, something like that. Maybe 87. I can't remember. But point is we got more wrestling coming in. Um, and we just picked up some wrestling figures today. Now these will not be going out anytime soon because we still have a backlog of about 200. Look at there. Nice big old chunky box full of figures. Those are going to be for Jason. It's for something else. Um, next week we will have Rodimus Prime come in. You know, he is the biggie, um, for the Transformer Kingdom line. The arc should be coming right after that. So keep your fingers crossed. Um, that's about it. Guys, come check us out. This store is packed to the gill. Um, we're looking to move some stuff. We're going to be doing some clearance items here soon. Um, we got to free up some room. We got new Legos coming. Um, new Star Wars is coming. Um, plenty of imports are coming. And, of course, we buy collections. One thing we do need right now, I'll show you. We need some Masters of the Universe. I've had to move Pops over here, which, granted, I think they look good. But we need some Masters. So if you have a Masters of the Universe collection, whether it's Vintage, 2000X, or the classic stuff, let us know. Um, we'll be all over it, and we'll make you some deals on that stuff, make you happy. Um, and, of course, you know, got a few revelations you know, they walked in the store. Our order has not come in yet. But they will be priced the same thing, you know, around $23.99. Um, I will look at the price point a little bit more. But we'll try to do the best we can for you, for everyone. But, you know, prices are going up. Um, Hasbro's already took effect. We've already seen that with some of the new stuff. And Mattel, if you're not aware, Mattel's raising their prices starting on August 1st. I don't know what it's all affecting just yet. Um, I haven't looked at the price list, but prices are going up. You know, it's just uh, what it is. So we're going to be really conscious about what we buy for the store because we don't want to buy stuff that you guys don't want. But anyway, just want to thank everybody for an amazing time here. Um, we've been very blessed with this store, and we have some um, relatively big news coming. We just have to wait just a little bit on that. Um, but we got some stuff brewing, but anyway, appreciate it guys. And I will see you guys soon.